All right, now this is just a story that I find extremely fascinating, especially the way the mainstream media picks and chooses what stories they're going to cover based on if it benefits them or not. Larry Elder is running for California governor with Gavin Newsom possibly getting recalled. Now, I don't even know how that's possible. Like, how bad of a governor do you have to be? You're a Democratic governor in California. California of all places. And they're talking about recalling you. Gavin Newsom is horrific. Now there is a video of Larry Elder, a African American, on the streets of Venice. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so really the most interesting thing about this story, at least from my point of view, this is a black African American. Uh, campaigning to potentially become the governor of California on the in, you know in the streets of California he gets assaulted by a white woman in a gorilla costume and ladies and gentlemen it doesn't get covered anywhere and this is really the main point of this video here's a tweet from elder uh, do a search for Larry Elder and Gorilla on CNN website. Nothing comes up. Washington Post, nothing. New York Times, nothing either. So it really has nothing to do about, you know, racism against, you know, black people, racism against different minorities in this country. If you are a Republican, it's, if you're a Republican, you're a bad person, you're a racist. If you're a Democrat, oh, we love you. That's what, that is the golden goose to CNN, to really Fox News for Republicans, to any of these media outlets. Like your race, nothing matters. Larry Elder, a black African American gets assaulted by a white woman and nobody cares. All those social justice warriors put your blackout photos up, the Instagram photos for Black Lives Matter. Nobody cares about this because he's a Republican. And the LA Times recently called Larry Elder the black face of white supremacy. Why? Why are they calling him a white supremacist, an African American male? Because he's Republican. It's so team oriented, guys. CNN, think about just think about this for a second. A black man minding his own business, campaigning on the streets of California in the United States of America, gets attacked for no reason, and it doesn't get covered because he's a Republican. That's all that matters nowadays. Are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? Whatever. And guys, it's not just CNN. It's not just Washington Post. It's not just these ultra left sites. It's also Fox News. They're 100% guilty of it as well. It's just magnified so much more because so much, of the overwhelming majority of the mainstream media is very liberal. So it's just magnified tenfold. And this is a perfect situation that just the crazy hypocrisy. What are we doing? Like this is a, this dude's running for California governor right now. The the the, the votes in a few days. It's this is big news. It's not like this is some irrelevant thing where CNN's like, "Oh, I'm not going to cover this." No, if this the if obviously if things were switched around and if it and it was a um you know, Democratic black, uh, you know, black dude running for governor and some white racist white Trump supporter in a gorilla mask throws something at him. I'm sure it would be different. Now, this is just something I found hilarious. The new flag flying at the White House. We know with everything going on with what Biden announced yesterday, the vaccine mandates. I thought that was just so well done. It's just funny. I don't know. Um, and then this, this is just another quick thing. They do these things on Twitter. There's different Twitter accounts where it's just the hypocrisy. None of these people's opinions are based on what they truly believe. It's just based on what the party thinks. They can't think for themselves. Here's the vice president of the United States who has historically low approval rating now. Here's what she had to say. This is October 7th, 2020, a month before the election. 
Donald Trump is still in office at this point. Kamala Harris on COVID vaccine. Won't take it if Trump tells me to. And after Joe Biden wins... VP Kamala Harris at Vax Live getting vaccinated, quote, is our responsibility as global citizens. Oh, isn't that so sweet? Such a, it, this is just, to, to, you know, you can think of what, about whatever you want on the vaccine and mandates. This is just to prove within the span of two months, this woman completely flips her opinion because it's based on party lines. Trump is in, the vaccine is terrible, it's rushed, it's dangerous. Biden's in. Oh, now you need to go and get vaxxed. Everybody, if you don't get vaccinated, you don't care about other people. Notice how it's flipped. You can have whatever opinion you want on the vaccine. I don't care. Have whatever opinion, you know? But it's just, when I see stuff, there's just the hypocrisy nowadays. And Larry L, it's just such a fascinating story, man. How it doesn't get covered by anyone. And I had originally thought, well, it's a new story, whatever, we'll see. But they don't even mention it on any of these networks, man. Because it, but they'll talk about, they'll talk about January 6th for hours on end. And by the way, if you're a Democrat, you should 100% continuously talk about January 6th. Continuously. And they do it because they know that makes Republicans look terrible. But with a situation like this, no. No, 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 no. Don't talk about it at all. Oh, no. It's, it's not going to get brung up at all. And let's see how the LA Times framed this situation. Larry Elder cuts short Venice homeless encampment tour after hostile reception. Yes, he had an egg thrown at his face. Uh, I guess it was a little bit hostile. No, just a little bit. And you still have these Democratic people after all of this supporting Gavin Newsom. And why are they supporting Gavin Newsom? You know how hard it is to get recalled as a Democrat in California? You know how, hard, you know how bad of a governor you have to be? Why are people still supporting him? Because Democrat good, Republican bad. That's why I support Gavin Newsom. Listen, I'm an independent. I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican. This guy has done a terrible job at running the state of California. It's a freaking police state. Small business is going out of business left and right. And why do you still support Gavin Newsom? Because he's Democrats are good and Republicans are bad. It's crazy, guys. It's so crazy. I don't know if crazy is the right word. More fascinating. I, I, I get so fascinated by stuff like this because it, the, just the hypocrisy. It's almost like, what is the point if you're going to be this hypocritical? Like, it's almost like I would have more, more respect for CNN if they ran a story of Larry Elder getting assaulted by a white race, by a white social justice worker, because that's what this woman was. I mean, she's wearing a grill mask. I'm sure. Again, can we check her Twitter bio? Does she have, you know, she, her in the pronouns? And she better. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.